Oh, oh they got Lilia. Oh. oh, interesting. So a lot of cutting potential. I guess here. Fairmans, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a pretty good pick. So it is gonna be what once again on the oh, final nail in the coffin for each Smash other. Them. Will Onik bounce back? A real Dewa United stand strong, getting the fourth W in this season. Is it gonna be Fnatic Onik or Dewa United? We'll see here if Dewa United can continue. The lost streak of Fnatic Onyx, or if Fnatic Onyx can bounce back. The fact that we are seeing a three-game series just shows you how much Dewa have progressed. You can see Moeza and Kay's already utilized Lilia. Purify used up early. That's the power of the Sacred Hammer coming in from the T-Reel. Two purifiers on the side of Dewa, but an abundance of magic damage, by the way. The physical damage should only be uh, done by, by Ray, technically. Look at the 2v2. Oh, Look at the clear coming in. Albert walking in, but look at that. Perez immediately opening up the map, zoning Sorizo away. It's gonna be an easy litho picked up by Fnatic Onyx, but look at the reaction from Ray. As a pullback case, no purify. Albert gets the passage, not even with the fracture. And oh. now the shot back, Mueza forced to flicker out. His keyboard just sends that question mark through. The good old Fnatic Onyx mid lane combo is already taking kills. Almost two as well in the first two minutes. Dewa United on the back foot. Yeah, Dewa gonna be a bit respectful of that, man. Here's some emblems by Indie Home though before the fight breaks out again. Inspire in the selection for CW and Sans. More spells, more damage, but also more survivability and outplay potential. That is what they need for sure. And ooh, look at that. Great show by ooh. Key Boy. Well, continue on. Weapon mastery for the Lunox on the hands of what? And it's still inspire for Sans. Because he knows that that black shoes and the spamming of that angry gloom is going to be critical in punishing uh, in punishing the Nether Realm coming through from the side of Fnatic Onyx. Now for Strudel, it's going to come out in this game. The story so far, it's always Onyx winning out on the objective and Dewey not winning on the fights. Is it going to be coming through once again as Sans and Keyboy? It's not level 4 just yet, but they're on their way. Albert already in the vicinity. Good onward now, they're gonna be targeting Keyboy down. The Shadow Pure also used up. Good spot back over to Albert right now, still able to escape. Another run comes oh, out. Hayes is the one who wins on the right three battle, but Sans gets the Ghost Burster. That's an onward to bring Reds back in a primal wrath to take Ooh. him out. A win for Dewa United. Once again, the early game is owned by the gods. Fanatic Onyx. This kind of composition in the late game, as you said, Rashi, they have a way to deal with this. Uh, they, they don't, but man, you can see that earlier. They were at camps from Spike on it. Do we have that control there? Red are red heads in particular. Wild card. Fortunately, they were just saw it coming and immediately just adjusted, right? It only landed on a one member. And all things considered, they still were able to find the turtle in that fight. So, overall, quite an odd win. But where's it? gets jumped on. Great implosion. Ooh, That's a good oh, pick. Man. Sans is the one who picks the kill up. Albert! Gonna go for the Red Tree Steel, but Ray is a bit too quick with it. Albert just ends up using the Red Tree on Kays. Didn't even get the chance to get away from the CCs. Just poured everything on towards yeah. Moeza. And I feel like this, that kind of maneuver is the solution or like the thing what? that both teams are trying to do. Even in the first objective battle, it's Keyboy being the target. Ooh. Look at this zoning away. Trying to stop Watt from getting the farm here. Watt wants to Ooh, walk up, what? still gets punished for it. But he's A-OK. -okay. It's a Lunox. Feels like uh, he was trying to bait out maybe the Purify perhaps to try and maybe secure a, a, a pick up later on. All right, dive. Sorizo though, finishes a Thunderbolt, so he will have a lot more damage. And he'll be stacking on that tankiness a lot earlier on right here. Four res on the Grok. We haven't seen a, a Grok EXP in a long, long time. Going for the Shuri Hammer, and he has a rapid boot, so he's trying to just be fast and rotating after clearing the, the lanes as much as possible. Okay, and now Fnatic Onyx actually climbed back from that gold lead from DIY United, so they did a good job just zoning one away from the lanes and just taking the last hits. Already, the micro display from once the gods of the game showing in display this early game stage. Look at that keyboard just being a pesky, pesky T girl. And Sonic Onyx. Albert. Oh, good one. Oh! Talking about Weza. Gets an onward down, but Rez actually had the power of nature earlier. So it's just going to be a free turtle take 
because Keyboy decided to be annoying onto Ray. A good old strategy though. Go for the 50 50 on the retribution and make sure that you have two massive crowd control tools to ensure that the opposing jungler can't go for the retribution. Now it's Santa Keyboy available on the top side. What can he outplay this as Moeza comes in to try and save him? Keyboy has the implosion, but they know that Watt has Purify. A good way to escape, also that brilliant. So it's a bit too risky to go for the dive there. Cerezo on the bottom side, though, won't actually look for a fight. How do you think? The rock XP is here. Yeah, like, I think I think for uh, the idea is just to burst down some of the members of the United, especially Watt and Keys is very very poor, prone to getting bursted down. As you can see one Legion Sword and Fury Hammer secured, but for the laning phase, I feel like Sarizo had a bit of an edge because like he has the healing. Meanwhile, Rest the only thing that he can do or like try to do at this point is just to try to clear the lane as soon as possible yeah. and with the wilderness blessing as well it's gonna help him to rotate much faster than Terizo. but if you look at his items though he's not going for a single damage component and straight for tank in look at this whoa whoa the earth shatter actually cancels the shove oh, man besides to pop an implosion there another one coming down cw and it'll lose his life there oh my damage What's almost taking him out forcing his mod force out i think cw panicked a bit sans force to purify very low they one doesn't want to go for it, not committing. Oh, Ray! Oh, Watch out of the back! Sans doesn't have the nether realm, but he'll, he's gonna be assassinated! Meanwhile, Cerezo surviving. Oh! Gets out of the passive strikes. Albert unable to get the trade back for Fnatic Onyx, and Watt is just chunking that turret down. Oh man, the Hayabusa is playing like a madman in this match. Three games in a row. Ray, finally, this time able to get that pick off at the top lane and now a bit too far from the turtle it's gonna come back with a lot of hp game plan is still gonna be the same way uh, jumping in first good shot nice final slash there Impulsion catches both of them to mod force use oh. up as well Rez gonna be able to find a wild turn what all alone now that's a big double what taken out by albert and now it just leaves ray and Kaze to watch as fanatic onic take the turtle from the palm of their hands what the heck was the damage, my guy? Rez coming in immediately demolishing the backline. They were trying their best, but they clumped up a bit too much there. Okay, he's kept on now. That's a black shoes of Onforce popping oh, already. Ray. Defensively walking back, CW still just walking under the turret. Dashes out towards a purple buff. Alpert picks up a turret down below, instantly capitalizing in that small window. You can see Moeza, if he misses, then he's gonna get punished right away. The same thing with Keyboy. Keyboy? So I feel like both teams. What? Both teams? It's just a matter of who can engage first and pull the trigger first and not a mistake in the process. And it depends on how both the uh, junglers play. Oh, never mind, Keyboy! The Chaos too. Keyboy getting his shove. Sans. Never all sending out Albert. In the back by Fortune. Black Shoes and Potion. You still on the 2 watt. So have the brilliant CW. You're going to be changed. See, see, to read the one more jump. And he gets it with Watt. Getting the fade away. Good Watt charge to lock him up. As Achilles Beers Rez blocks out Albert. Oh gonna my be God. Stopped. Oh. Rez comes in with a big smack to the head. Moenza taking out by Cerezo. In a battle of attrition. Dodges away from the fracture Ray. too. Ray has the bot. He needs to land and gets the quad shadow. And gets the kill. Landing that shuriken on towards Albert. And once again, Taylor United comes out on top. The gold Ooh. swing is already very purple on him. Although Sorizo is looking to make that play. The final spot. Oh, oh no! Sorizo dodges away pixel perfect from the Ghostbursters. Where have you seen Sans slip up, not land the spell right there? Unfortunate things happening for Fnatic Onyx. Not really getting the control they want, losing it the longer the game goes on. 10 seconds until the next fights begin, and they will have all the better tools. More burst, more potential crowd control tools, and more outplay with the dashes, with the survivability, especially with Soriza on that Arlot. It's definitely making problems happen for Fnatic Onyx. Oh, Dewa United. So what makes this happen against Fnatic Onyx? The debut from Res is going to be ruined by the gods. Dewa United. They have the map, they have all the pressure available. Can they actually do it? Can they finally be that consistent team in the late game after this already really good early game? Look at what's going on right now. Sorizo 
matching res, not allowing him to get the free clear with the roam, you know, the rolling boot advantage. And with keys on that Lilia, man, that is what's making it so oh, difficult for Wesson, though. Misses onward. The jump back gets the Earth Shatter, though. Gets pulled back, but the Shatter Shatter. Oh, Wesson, the Primal Rat, this Keyblade gets disintegrated. In front of that Roman, it comes down. That was a good wall charge, but there's no follow on the final slap. Big CW to the Shurikens of Ray. And Cerezo gets his vengeance down. That is a three for one. Tewa might be on the road to 2 one for Natagonic. Oh, baby, it's a triple for Tewa United. As they get lowered once again without any contest Ray Doesn't even have, even have the retribution to use on that because there is no threat whatsoever. Tewa United, they are absolutely rolling right now. Looking at some of the items right here, BOD, Endless Battle for Ray. Definitely an insane amount of damage. And what's more terrifying for Fnatic Onik is that Keyes has the oh, Ice Queen one, but he has a Glowing one Yikes. on the way soon. The healing reduction, the AoE application of it, is going to make it even more difficult for Fnatic Onik to get any kind of foothold in these fights. They are losing Keyboy too fast. Sans hasn't been able to pop that Netherrealm on time. And look at Mueza already eyeing a chance to get the fight started once more. They're just slithering around, man. Wants to look for that onward. Holy Defense still up for Fnatic Onyx. It isn't over just yet. They still have a lot of defenses here. At least for the First Lord. Yeah, Liz still united. We're able to make that a 3k gold lead at this point. A good lead to build on at this point of the game. You have all those DPS already, man. Like you have a lot of damage coming in from Dewa United. Now I feel like on the other side of the court, Rez, the window for this grub to be effective for Ashi is not that much. It's just small windows for both teams technically, but I mean, Dewa has so many more ways to try and play these fights out. They can go for pickoffs, they can go for a tight back strategy. And the fact that they have Sorizo just being so active and dynamic here with the outplays that this guy has been making. A big criticism for Sorizo is a passive nature. It's the fact that he can't really perform in the midst of a team fight. But with Dewa right here, he's been making the plays happen with those final slashes. And the Vengeance is on the right targets. It is difficult for Fnatic Onyx to find like a moment of control in these fights, man. CW, Sans and Albert, just not allowed to really stand around at all. Always pressured or forced to use some kind of spell defensively. The Cerezo, oh, Cerezo. Oh, oh. Good black shoes out. Albert being so aggressive in that situation, and I feel like that that's really what Fnatic Onyx needs at this point of the game, just playing with the margins, somehow do the damage without getting picked off, also knowing that Sans is there to bail them out. All right, Super Buff still taken by Albert. Remember, the longer the game goes, the more Fnatic Onyx scales. Even though it's looking bad for them, they still do have a Harriet, they have a Nolan. They only scaled the best into the late game when it comes to damage output. And now, especially with Rez being on the Grok with the C Halberd earlier, and now a BOD. A lot of burst potential. If it lands on the right person, even the Purify won't save you from the insane amount of damage that the Wild Charge Ooh. from a full damage Grok can do to you. But he is also squishy. The fact that the only frontline is Keyboy is one of the problems for Fnatic Onyx. Look at this, Rez caught out of position. Conceal, Mueza with a flicker onward there. Almost got the Albert Rez is going to be isolated completely. The final slash of the Wild Charge actually connects with the Implosion as well. Ray going to be caught still as a Quad Shadow. Zavon Force used up. The Brilliant in the midst of an RCW still so jumping back and forth trying to go for the play. What will be taken oh. down? They made a mistake. CW capitalizes on Rizal! Oh. Oh. Again jumping back and forth, but in the end, it's CW picks up a triple. That's a black shoes from K's, who's still able to survive. Now it's a big 1v4. Oh! Kays getting escaped, no black shoes. Albert assassinates him. And again, for Dewa, the team fighting 50-50. Oh man, what looked like a mistake coming in from Res and Fnatic Onyx turns out to be a bait for Dewa United as Ray already spends the quad shadow. He cannot contest on this one. Sans is just Absolutely zoning them away. Lord finally goes to the hands of Fnatic Onyx. A great moment here. A huge swing and momentum. Now they can finally go for some more controlled plays and try and get some of these turrets down. For Dewa, they do have a respectable amount of burst damage. They can clear this Lord very, very easily. But they have to be watchful for Fnatic Onyx waiting in these bushes to try and go for a surprise engage. 
They went for a fight there onto Rez. He was able to get the wild charge off, and Keyboy finally not burst it down, was able to get a big implosion. Those are the winning conditions. And you can see Fnatic Onyx immediately go for some more control, go for the group up, and go for the split as well with Rez on the top side. You gotta respect the potential of Keyboy, man. Keyboy? This guy came back with a Tigreal against a 16k gold lead in the world stage, so nothing is impossible for Fnatic Onyx when Keyboy is on this hero. So gotta watch out for those flicker implosion combo, considering that only two purifies. It's available for JY United. That's a charge down the bottom lane. Keyboy finds an implosion and they all just collapse under it. The Netherrealm has been made. It Kays is still in the midst of it. Oh, there oh, it is! Getting the wild charge and that's where Fnatic that Onyx shine. Albert cleaning them off to Rezo. Look at the resets. Can only flicker backwards as Albert chases him to the fountain. And Calvin Winata gets rid of him. Fnatic Onyx in an instant takes the game back. A good way to bounce back in this match by a Fnatic Onyx as they reclaim the skies from the gods. The rightful throne is safe, at least for this day. The United feel, felt that the skies 